Hey there friends, Rusty Miner coming at you with another knife overview. Today we're looking at a six leaf knife, the SL12. This knife was provided by me to me by an Amazon seller, Tangly. In exchange, I would uh, do a YouTube video here. So let's take a look at this knife. We got G10 handles, uh, we got carbon fiber scales, uh, looks like T8 hardware. Another G10 uh, backspacer with jimping. Comes around like this. We have a deep carry pocket clip. It does have button screws on it, but it fits nicely in your jeans. I've been wearing it today and it does, is deep carry. Uh, the knife is a good high quality manufactured knife. Uh, and I say that because a lot of times when you look through these G10 uh, lanyard holes, you know, you're gonna see some rough cuts. We're not seeing that on here. Uh, we got some nice detail. This, gym, this uh, G10 is ramped up to the carbon fiber. It's really smooth here. Uh, just, just done well. Uh, it is a front flipper knife. There's your six leaf logo. And I've seen this blade design on a couple knives. And uh, basically, uh, a nice flat grind on goes almost all the way up to the top except for this portion here it does come down thin and slicely I'm gonna do a sharpness test with the foam peanuts here uh, and you can see some you know some grinds in the blade uh, up here we're gonna see the rattlesnake makers mark and the model of the, the knife lockup is good Steel liners, they are skeletonized on, oh, yep, they are skeletonized on this side. And it runs on KVT ceramic bearings. Drops real nice. So if you can get used to that front flicker, flicks open good. Uh, ergos are surprisingly good. Uh, kind of the way it goes into your hand here, uh, we have, you know, everything's kind of angular on this knife, so... When I first saw it on Amazon, I thought it was a much smaller knife. But now it's a pretty big, good-sized knife. I think this one's going to be a really good push-cutting type knife. So, once your hands get on there. There's no jimping on the top of the blade except for right in here. See if I can get that for you guys. So, stick around for the cut test. Oh, by the way, one thing I missed out in the field was the centering. Uh, and just the general uh, fit here when uh, these pieces are coming together, it, it fits real well. So, nice size stop pin. Okay, guys, stick around for the cut test. Okay, guys, we're back inside for some more cut tests. And comparisons so before we get into it any further I do want to address the fit and finish uh, and my reason this is a high quality knife it just the materials here you got you know thick liners uh, it's skeletonized well uh, it's cha chamfered well and it's got good blade grind so we're gonna kind of compare it well first we'll do a, a sharpness test here uh, let's see here. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and grab paper. Yeah, just as I suspected here. That's sharp, fellas. I love it if you can just take your knife and uh, I'm getting bound up here. I'm trying to do too much of a circle, I guess. So, so it cuts paper. Let's see how we do with foam peanut. I cut it off nice and thin. Okay, and then the second thing I like to see. Oh, there we go. Is when you get to the end of the foam peanut. Peanut, let's say. 
it, it finishes it off, you know. You can cut all the way through and you can get that little dangler. So, uh, some other knives that I have that uh, remind me of the same shape would be the Effingrau EF950. So we take a look at that one. You guys get an idea. Uh, what we got here is kind of the same. And by the way, this hole, this finger slot does work to flick the knife, thumb stud it in a way. And then um, it's got a grind that goes right up to right there. Just a little bit different. They're both D2. So it's almost a $30 knife. Let's see what you get from the factory here. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Not going to complain about that. However, you know, just the thickness of the liners. Uh, the materials, uh, this is just a, a better knife. And this one runs, by the way, around $50. So, uh, don't want to always compare the Six Leaf to the Tucson. But this is really my only other front flipper knife besides the 237. And that's what we're looking at. The reason I brought this one out is in my video, I compare this one to, to holding a hammer. So what I mean, when I'm, actually when I hold this one, it kind of reminds me of a hatchet, the way that this back is, you know. So just kind of wanted to give you guys, I know this Tucson is not a popular model. A lot of, in other words, not everybody gets has one of these. But in terms of uh, comparison, front flipper, 14C28N, uh, titanium, and this one I paid $85 for. You can get them, uh, if you just buy them like at uh, White Mountain Knives, you're going to pay $105. Uh, this one is $50 from Tangly. Let's show you guys the thumb stud. Now you really have to get a hold of that, but for those of you who you know, you guys can get her done. So, so well, that's the story on the six leaves. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Bye.